Okay, anybody watching, let me know if you don't have audio. Because, <laughs> oh, no, no, yep. All right. What's going on, everybody? Sock Monkey here with Silverin. <laughs> it is Collab Tuesday. Woohoo! And, uh,. Today we're actually going to play a game that is one of my favorites, which is Euro Truck Simulator 2. So right now we have a... We're sitting here on the outskirts of Warsaw. I have a big reservoir tank, and we are taking it to Sweden, Bork Bork. Yes, and, and insulting all and any Swedish people who might come across this. Well, um... Well, you know, let's hope PewDiePie doesn't come across it. Alright, so are we ready? You can go ahead. I gotta, I gotta change the information on Twitch. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. And uh, we're taking this Volvo uh, FX16 over to Karlskrona in Sweden. Like I said, we are on the outskirts of Warsaw right now. In game time, it is 1.55 on a Tuesday, and uh, in real life, it's just about uh, 7 o'clock on a Tuesday, and uh, we are just heading out of the city past the speed camera right now. beautiful day uh, here in simulated Poland so <coughs> so we are just uh, rolling out here on the uh, Polish highway motorway whatever you want to call it Indeed. and uh, oh, I need to get over I'm on the rumble strip hey you're in the wrong chair I want my chair back no chair for you give me that chair back you little weasel Hang on. Okay, while we switch chairs, I'm gonna pull over so You're I don't... silly. I pulled this over for a reason. Okay. Um... <coughs> <coughs> and again, sorry for the cough. <coughs> Sullivan has oh the black... Sullivan has the black plague. Shut up. Never. Boy. Right. So, uh, we're just trying to get back onto the highway here because of that unfortunate uh, chair switching incident. So, turn off my flashers. And the entire world of uh, outbound uh, Warsaw drivers is passing me right now. Yes, slow as molasses, this truck. Yeah, well. It's a base model Volvo, what do you expect? How fast are you supposed to be going? 50 miles per hour or uh, 80 kilometers per hour. See, I'm speeding right now. It can't be any slower than the, uh, the car. Oh, what was it? That we, we rented a car. We went to Florida. And we rented a car, and I swear this car had no horsepower because my dad would floor it and it would just go. It went zero to 60 in like 10 minutes. Oh, did it have like little gerbils under the hood? <laughs> gobbledygook, did you see that? We're going to gobbledygook. No, we're not going to gobbledygook. Really? Yeah, the Polish, the Polish girl <laughs> I already doesn't... said we were going to offend all of our, all and any Swedish we're, people. We're going to Gdansk, okay? Yes, it's gobbledygook. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, okay, the Polish person is insulting her own heritage, I'm seems like. I'm Polish, I'm American. You, you are Get part right. Polish. Don't care. Don't know, don't care. You're like East, you've said it yourself, you're Eastern, Western, and Northern Europe, put in a blender. Indeed. So we're just trolloping through the English countryside in our green Volvo. Um, 
Yes, and I am hanging around in chat, so... I can interact both two ways. Yes, indeed. Uh, so that, um... So that sound you just heard, that rumbling sound, was me using my exhaust brake. Which he is obsessed with. Yes, well, we should Therefore, I apologize to anyone watching this video ahead of time. Well, the thing is, we're not playing AT yet. We're not playing American Truck Simulator, but we can play that sometime. Yeah, it's a lot louder. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> so we have a... Uh, our ETA is in 14 hours, so, uh, Sullivan, I hope you, uh... I hope you went to the facilities before we got on this trip. Well, if I didn't, who's going to have to clean up that mess? <laughs> yes, that's true. Because who decided to bring me along? I did. Mm-hmm. And you don't see a problem with this? Not at all. <laughs> Okay. Yes, my child. Oh, that's wrong. That's only if I say Jesus. Yes, my child. <laughs> Alright, so we're just passing a filling station here. I normally like to go to more of the truck stop style filling stations. Those ones are kind of a pain in the butt to get in and out of. But if I have to, like if I'm on those two these two lanes, I, I will. Just rolling through some looks like farmland here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yep. Something like that. Well, there are rolls of hay yeah. everywhere. Yes. The hay capital of the world. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I think it was like a, uh, a two-lane pass, a European two-lane passing sign. No, it wasn't for us. It was for the. Well, I think it was for both. Like you see, we're. Uh oh, we gotta come to a. We're coming to a rail crossing. Drive better. I'm trying to slow down on Go this. Go straight. You're gonna make everyone sick. Realize your mirrors overlap. Uh, I'm. I did that on purpose. Oh. Yeah, that's a. That's part of the game. You can have overlapping mirrors. Okay, now I think I'm supposed to stop in accordance. Oh, well, oh, good thing oh, that I stopped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no I know crossing here, the tracks for you. I know in the U.S., if you have a commercial driver's license, if you're a trucker, you have to stop at rail crossings. I know buses have to stop at rail crossings. Um, Cargo rail. High resolution truck, low resolution train. Seems legit. Alright, so we're just... High resolution truck. Low resolution trees. <laughs> they look like trees to me. They're all fuzzy pixels. Only you would notice that because of the type of uh, work you do for a living. No, any gamer is gonna notice that. Someone's jackhammering. That's okay, it still looks pretty. So that circle with the line through it is a passing thing? Yeah, we just went to a we just went to a passing oh 43. Okay, I I can go faster here. Maroon! Yep. Drive better. I am driving better. Or at least attempting to. Sunflowers! Yes, yeah, you see that sign with the red Sunflowers. car? Sunflowers! Yes, I know. I sell them all day. Yes, I do. I didn't know you could buy them through a flower service you around can't, here. You can't buy, uh, <clears throat> like, individual ones, but we have arrangements that include sunflowers. Oh, are they popular? Yeah, they're really popular. <gasps> Boo! Cows! 
Cows! Moo! Moo cow! Except don't go near them if they're beef cattle, because that did their ornery beasts. Anyone who watches Dr. Paul knows this. Yes. Which is why I wish we had uh, the option for a la carte cables so I could get us Dr. Paul. So what are these little red flowers we're, f we're flying past? Are they like tulips and stuff? Uh, what do you think they might be? Either like tulips or poppies. Poppies? Yeah. <gasps> Horsies! Horsies! And we're about to get out of the country and about to get on the highway. What was that red car, black car sign? Oh, that was the no passing zone. Uh -huh. The red car is the one that is breaking law. Gotcha. Obviously. Whatever. What you We're going to Toto and Gobbledygook. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's really. Oh god. Really? I hate these on ramps. <laughs> Are you having problems, sweetie? Shush it. Wow, you really dirt that up. Yeah, well. Don't hit the pole. I'm trying not to. Don't hit the guardrail. I'm trying not to. Stay on the road. I am staying on the road. Drive better. I am driving better. Oh, we've graduated from. Rolls of hay to stacks of hay. To, to teepees of hay. Seems legit. I don't know what those are. Okay, this is a... Look like fi little... 50k. Grass huts of some kind. Oh my god, go straight. You're weaving back and forth. Is this why you weave back and forth all the time when you're driving for real? I weave back and forth all the time? Oof. I do? I mean, sometimes I realize that I'm out of lane, but... Broom! Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, oh. Uh, no, this is actually you get the ticket, I think. Have you ever driven the Ohio or... Ohio Turnpike or the uh, Indiana Toll Road? No, and I have no idea. Okay, see, we have to get the ticket. Here. Hold Thank you. Yes, I, okay, I, I, I have the ticket. Now... What do I do with the ticket? You have to give it to me when we stop at the toll booth. Just give... Uh... Okay, how that works <laughs> in real life is... Unless you have an iPass or an easy pass. <laughs> Yes. When you get uh, now the the way the Ohio Turnpike and the Indiana Toll Road work, and also I think like the New Jersey and the Pennsylvania Turnpikes. Yes. When you get on, you get a ticket, and when you get off at wherever, at whatever exit you're supposed to get off, or at the end, you pay an amount of money based on the distance you've traveled. Oh. It's not like here. It's not like with. Now, viewers, if you if you don't know, Sullivan and I live just outside of Chicago. Yes. And we are surrounded by toll roads. Yes, because Chicago sucks. Actually, it's not really Chicago's fault, but whatever. Um, so... It's Illinois' fault. Once a week, we <laughs> end up driving down south to go visit our parents. And we end up having to pay a toll when we get on the tollway... And then we transition to another tollway. And you pay again. <laughs> yeah, you pay again. But the way that it works is you don't get a ticket. You just pay with the iPass, which is the little electronic transponder that we keep in our car on the windscreen. So, uh, yes, we just pay. Um, we just pay when we get off through the uh, um, transponder. Now. In the old days, you used to just have to use um, change all the time. The other day, Sullivan and I were driving to driving me to work. I was driving, and she was going to. Uh, um, so we were getting in the automatic lane, the automatic toll lane, or I was about to, and there was this truck 
there was this yellow truck, this box truck, sitting in the uh, automatic toll lane. And I'm like, well, maybe they're doing work on the on the toll booth. And I decided to get into the cash lane because the tran the little box, the transponder, will read it. Well, sure enough, what wound up happening is I we ended up um, going through, but just as I uh, just as we were getting to the toll booth. Sullivan noticed there was a little blue car pulling up in the lane next to me, and she was like, uh, what are you doing, guy? The lane's closed. And then the, bo and then the box truck just ended up leaving. So it was like, what the heck is really going on? This box truck was just driving all kinds of nuts. around, I say! Yes, indeed. Oh, uh, no, I'm... No, I'm good, thank you. Silver is just getting some hydration while we continue down the uh, tollway here. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghettios. Oh, the tollway's no, the tollway's not gonna end. Um, I think I'm gonna need that ticket back. Ticket. Oh, well, not yet. I'll tell you when I'm gonna need the ticket. Can't wait to get to Sweden. They have automatic lanes for the tolls. So we are going to Sweden, Bork Bork. Trado. Yeah, that's uh, one of the companies. Trado. Oh, oh, oh. That, that's one of the companies in the game. There's a mod that you can actually use, like real companies. Along with Walters or whatever okay. it's called. All right, 69 euro we have to pay for the privilege to drive on the Polish tollway. The sock monkey got me some uh, white chocolate covered, um, whatchamacallit. Because I got early released out of work today because we have so many people and uh, uh, not enough work for everyone to go around. <laughs> so I took the bus and the train home today, and while I was waiting, I went and uh, we went. I went into this little candy shop, where I went and picked up my Starbucks because I I need more pretzels. That's the word I wanted. Pretzels. Cho white chocolate covered pretzels. And I hope these things in here aren't cinnamon, because yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. I think they're either all candy coated or. No, look. Oh. There's these little little red candy hearts. Like um, uh, they but they might be cinnamon, and I do not like cinnamon. Oh, you don't like the cinnamon candies, huh? Yep, definitely cinnamon. Blech. Sorry, hun. Black. Uh oh. Uh, I gotta be careful here. I'll just have the pretzels. Nom 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 nom. Delicious butterflies. Nom nom nom. And no, I do not actually eat butterflies. It's a it's a joke from one of the other YouTubers I watch named Yaweasel, who you will only understand this butterfly thing if you watch. His mo uh, mother slash Earthbound beginnings or Earthbound slash Mother Two videos. So go watch Ya Weasel. He's hilarious. Yes, he is. Darn it! I have a little spot in my glasses. It's driving me crazy. Sorry, sweetie. Because I'm not actually blind. I have uh, focus issues with my eyes. And double and a little bit of double vision. And 
double vision I was seeing is finally clear. <coughs> no. Oh god. Oh god. Got better. I hate roundabouts. <laughs> I love roundabouts. Roundabouts, really? Yes, roundabouts. Why? They're not roundabouts. They're roundabouts. We're going to Karkaruru. We're going to Carl's Krona. <laughs> I can't believe how close I was. <laughs> Kakariku. No, we're going to Carl's Krona. We're going to Kakariko? Carl's Krona. <laughs> <coughs> Chickens, and then we can torture the chickens and they can attack us. What are you even on about? It's called a video game about a guy named Link. Oh. Who has to save a princess named Zelda. Oh. And sometimes the games have Legend of Zelda in the name. I told you, I had a deprived it's childhood. It's the Legend of Zelda, okay? I told you, I had a deprived childhood, remember? Starting with a link to the past, I think. Look, okay, so we have the big boat there, so we gotta go to the ferry terminal. Are Volvo's only for men? What are you talking about? Oh, oh the Volvo sign is a male icon. No. Uh huh, it's a circle with an arrow. I know, but they're not for men. Only. That's what that means. I I understand that, honey. But it's the symbol. I understand that. I can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. The fact that you are so disturbed by this is hilarious. My mind to is me. blown right now. Why? Because you're making a big deal of this. Oh? Okay. What do you mean? I'm being entertaining. You are being entertaining. Okay, so here we go. We are at the ferry port. We just gotta park up real quick. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. We're we're in. in, in, in we, we went to Kuko. Reservoir tank. Yeah, that's what we're hauling. Like for fuel? I don't know. And Ballast or something? Hang on, I gotta... What kind of car is that? That looks like a Volkswagen CC. The Volkswagen? Yes. <laughs> a Vol or as Jeremy Clarkson would say, a Volkswagen. That's what I said! Yes. A Volkswagen! Which I want... Oh, great. I'm stalled and... You're a terrible driver. Shut up. <laughs> That's why I make you drive. It's way more entertaining. But my driving also puts you to sleep. <laughs> oh, crud. Oh, my God. F minus, minus, minus. Yeah, I know. Sue me. <laughs> Do it better. I'm trying. You are hopelessly slow. Wee! Oh my god, he's moving. Oh my god, you got out of it. Yes, it's a miracle. Oh, oh, I see the destination. We're in about nine miles away. Well, well, then what's that, that question mark thingy? Oh, what question mark thingy? It's behind you now. There was a question mark thingy. A green, a green hologram with a question oh, mark. Oh, that was for, um, that was for getting a, uh, that was the, uh, a yard. That was a trucking yard. Why didn't you go there? Because I, that's not where I was directed to go. I'm not. I have to go where the GPS tells me to go. Or as the Europeans would call it, the satnav. I have to go where the satnav tells me to go. Man, 
something called cell phones? Mobiles? Or? Mobiles, yeah. They call crackers, they call cookies biscuits. They call soccer football. Yeah, well that makes more sense than football. Really? Or something you catch with your hands. Oh. American football well, you don't... only vaguely has to do with using your feet. Oh, don't tell Scott Sigler that. He's made fun of that himself. Has he now? Yes. In his GFL series. Most certainly. All right, so... In fact, in the GFL universe, football, American football is supposed to be called gridiron. Yeah. To differentiate it from football, which is soccer. But, of course, nobody calls it that. Yeah. So oh, Carl Kronos has been discovered. Carl's Krona. Uh-oh. What's an uh-oh? I don't see any uh-ohs. No, the game is doing that thing again. We're ticketing. Okay, would you like to stop the truck? <laughs> okay, we'll just let this little low-res tree stop us. <laughs> okay. So now that we're at, now that we're stopped, I can maybe uh pan around you, pan around around the uh, cabin here. Pan it, poopoo. Shut up. Here's here's the sleeper bed. There's obviously your that seat. That little wait 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 that tiny piece of foam. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh my goodness. And then you got some curtains here. That's smaller than a twin bed. And then you have your little rear mirror on the Renaults. It's much bigger, but here's your uh, skylight. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I can get burned on the top of my head from inside the car. It's tinted, you doof. Oh crap! <laughs> and then here's your stereo. And I appear to have be uh, annoying drivers behind me, so I need to get. <laughs> because you're a horrible driver. The game. Yes, it's oh. called lag. The lag is real. Or, your the it just derped. You just had a brain fart. Yeah, that guy was all ticked off. He wanted to, he wanted to turn and. Nor food. Yeah, it's nor food. It's probably the like, I don't know the Swedish equivalent to Safeway or something. There's a joke in there somewhere, but my brain cannot find it. Not like either or, neither nor. I'm saying. Yeah, there's no pedestrians. I think it's hysterical that this is a trucking, driving a truck simulator, but you you get automatically fined when you do certain things, but not for like bashing your truck into like property. <laughs> oh, you do sometimes. I mean, so let's play it safe. Wimp. <laughs> I could be completely lazy and just decide not to attack I don't the car know if you could hear that, but he sighed at me. <laughs> We're in Carcrona. Carl's Krona. Carcrona? Carcarico? Oh. Carl's Krona. Reasonable. Carico. <laughs> thousand euros My level okay let's see what the next job is um uh, oh uh, no oh poop 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 it's poop yes very uh, ooh apples nom, nom, nom. Are you... wait it's very meta the truck is hauling truck rims or truck batteries. Yeah. It's going back to Poland. Go to Norway. Poop. 
No, go, go to Christensen. And then we get to go to... Oh, wait, Den we're going from Kakariko to Krakalakadingdong. <laughs> Why did I give you liquor? I, I had two sips of stuff, okay? Whatever that was, orange juice and rum. I don't, I don't think that was enough to make any difference. More to the point, I just had sugar. Oh God! <laughs> as as John Cleese, oh my goodness! As John Cleese would say, we're all in trillion the shit. Literally. Yeah. Well, it's behind us anyway. Um. The other day, um, we went to see Monty Python and the Holy Grail. My brother-in-law and sister gave me these, gave us these tickets. Uh. Uh oh. Uh, we may need to make a quick... U-turn? No, we may need to make a quick, uh... U-turn? No, we may need to make a quick... U-turn? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you... You moved. <laughs> and that futzed up the angle. Sorry! And not only that, we, what I was trying to say is we need to make it a quick U turn. <laughs> we need to make an emergency stop at the garage. Oh my god. We need to go. Sorry, this the coffee starts when I laugh. We need to it's make. So horrible. We make. We need to make a quick emergency stop at the garage. <laughs> because uh, my truck is damaged. It. So we just gotta pull. Do. So we just gotta pull into the. Uh, we just gotta pull into the repair shop and. <coughs> You're in Carl's Krona. Okay, that feels better. Oh my goodness! Sorry about that, audience. It's as painful for me as it is for you. I promise. So Sullivan has the black plague. Shut up! Never. I'm seeing the doctor again on Thursday. And I still have 11 more days of my inhaler, so... The truck is buttless. Are you going to get the truck's butt now? I'm getting it fixed. Getting it fixed? Han. Oh wait, because you're a horrible driver? Am I a horrible driver in real life? Tell the truth. No. Not for being driving for less than a year. You know what? I may need to oh, You're I can't, better than most teenagers. I can't think on a bank I can't Although Okay, we are now I guess that's not saying much. It took it took me a couple of months before I actually uh, hit something, and it was like what, like four months before I jumped, before I like actually jumped a curb to where. Yep. It I, was fine. Nothing happened. Okay, I gotta make a left here. I gotta go across this stupid roundabout, and then. It only bent the. Uh... The rim cover. And I was able to push it back in. Because you know the car will function without the actual rim cover. I know. I'm pretty sure. Ahead. Okay, so we are just... It's not like they were special. They're just the default 2009 Toyota Prius wheel covers. Or, uh, rim cover. Whatever, same... Same difference as far as I'm concerned. Are we at the not Ikea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we gotta grab our... We gotta grab our uh, fertilizer. Poop! Yeah. Yes, poop, thank you. Actually, it might not actually be poop. It might be chemical fertilizer. In which case you're picking up like boxes well, of it can't be bottles of stuff. It can't be chemical fertilizer, you know why? Why? 
I don't have a hazmat permit yet because I oh. didn't. Um, that's not the thing I selected when I leveled up just now or early. So it really is cow poop, probably. Maybe goat poop or. I don't know. What are they using? Europe is it cow? I don't know. Maybe it's manure. Maybe it's lutefisk poop. I don't. What? Fish poop? It's Sweden. Fish poop would be like, you know how many fish would have to poop in order for you to get one pound of fertilizer? <laughs> like thousands. <gasps> Welcome to Colon of Tuesday, where Sullivan <laughs> and the Sock Monkey discuss fish poop. <laughs> okay, my clan. Yeah, well, it's either poop or sex. Which one do you want? Well, this is. Don't the, answer that question. This is the love stream, <laughs> after all. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Oh god, this, the, oh god, the sun is in my face and we don't have... The, the, so, the song is in your face? The sun is in my face. I didn't know songs were visible. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of music. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get a strike or something. <laughs> Let's not, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have a 411-mile journey ahead of us, and some of it is going to be on the ferries. We're going to go on another... Ferries? They're magical? Yeah, they're mad. They're big magical things that go on the water, and you go... Oh. They, they don't sink, do they? Uh, they shouldn't. They have wings? Are their wings pretty? Uh, no. They have hole. They have holes and motors and rudders. And holes. Holes. H U L L S. Oh, holes. Yeah, I said holes. You said they were fairies, and fairies have wings. They're fairies. They're fairy boats. But. But. I'm fairy. Are you? Are you your niece? I, I am... I, I, no, I'm me. Yes, that's true. And no matter how old I am, I am always up for some good fairies and dragons. And yes. Including imagine dragons. Oh, yes, <laughs> Ooh, what are those? <clears throat> they look like weed or something. Um, no. I don't know. Marijuana does not have bright yellow blues on Yeah, it's marijuana. Seems legit. Seems you, you're the one that said it was weed. I said wheat. Oh. It looks like wheat. Wheat. <laughs> okay. Wheat. Hey, Sullivan, <laughs> can I have some wheat things? <laughs> <laughs> My wife is broken now. She's broken. What's wrong with you? Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? You're talking about wheat thins? Wheat thins? Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. <laughs> hey, Sullivan, can I have some wheat thins? No. Only if they'll make your toe feel better. <laughs> God. No, my toes my toes have been fine lately, thank you. For the record, this one I'm sitting with right here had a toe infection and just absolutely for weeks and months refused to get it treated. I didn't have health insurance. And then there was this whole thing about wheat thins, and it got out of control. That's true, good. And I just, one day I told him, you can have wheat thins if it'll make your toe feel better. No, you were talking about wheat thins and tricks. Oh, God. You had to bring up the tricks thing. 
Absolutely. Oh god. I don't even remember how those things got started. They're just kind of things now yeah. in our lives. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, it went from 31 to 43. Okay. We're going to Valkyrie? But, no, we're passing Vakshijo. <laughs> yes, that's so much better than what I said. At least I attempted to do a pronunciation. <laughs> okay, so th this is going to get really interesting in a second here because we're going on to the... Oh my god, it's the parade of trucks. Okay, this is going to get really interesting and I'm going to explain why. Um, if this, I don't know if this is a four lane or if, if this is going to go to the famous... Yeah, it is. Or is it? <laughs> okay, in Sweden, some of the roads have two lanes on one side and then one lane on the opposite side, and then they alternate. Why do they like bottlenecks? Uh, no, this is, it's actually a safety measure. It, it cut down road accidents in Sweden by quite a bit. Is it just to keep the drivers alert? Uh, heck if I know. I, I, I've never been to Sweden. I would think here, the, with the way bottlenecks work, it just, that just doesn't seem like it'd be safe. You do understand that, you do understand that <clears throat> European drivers have a lot more training. Like I was explaining to you last night when we were watching Weasel play Car Mechanic. Weasel Zone, for those of you who don't Not, know. Yeah, Weasel, different thing. Yes, that's right. We follow two YouTubers that identify with Weasels. And they're okay. both pretty funny guys. Like I said, like I said, Europeans have mm -hmm. um, more driver training. Oh god. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. Bad driver! Drive better! I'm trying. This is boring! Make it move! <laughs> I'm trying to make it move. That red flashing light on the right side of the dash on the left side of the dashboard is the hazard switch. The only other time I've ever seen a hazard switch flash when you press on it is in older Volkswagens. We're leaving Gobbledygook and going to Joe Jang. John it's John Copning or something like that. <laughs> John Copping. Joe Janger, Jingle John little whatever. <laughs> There's no hope for this one. Nope. What did I do with the phone? No phone for you. <laughs> I put it down when I was choking. <laughs> well, that's probably a good thing to do when you're choking. And to your, uh, and to your right, I think we have a fjord. That's what, um, um, Barty Slurp passed. Huh? Barty... I think that's his name. Won a, a design award for the fjords of Norway. Okay. Take your word Slarty for it. Barty Bartfast, I think was his name. Seems legit. It's from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay then, I've seen that movie. Yes, do you remember that they go to that place where, um... They build the planets. I think so, yeah. And Arthur Dent is in the little basket with him. Yeah. Yeah, that's... But it... I keep it's been a say. few years since I've seen the movie. Slarty Bart Fast, fast or something like that? Uh, it's a been a few years since I've seen the movie, so I'm just going to take it's your word for it. The Chiker Guide to the Galaxy. Characters. I need to see. Or the character. Okay, so we are just going through some forest, it looks like. <laughs> the whale. Uh, 90k an hour zone. That's just for cars. I mean, we're only doing about 70. Doing about 70 kilometer, kilometers an hour, or kilometers, or however you want to say it. I know when I watch Canada's Worst Driver, they always talk about kilometers. Guy. 
Mm. Okay, Marge Simpson. Full cast. Oh, um, I'm gonna flip the screen over. I'm gonna flip the screen over to show you how many miles to the gallon we're getting. Slarty Bart fast. See, Slarty Bart fast. I am not making it up. Okay, right now our average miles to the gallon is five point eight. Whoa! What are you gonna do with all that extra cash you're making, but saving fuel? Um, oh wait, you're not saving fuel. I have the cruise on. <laughs> I have the cruise on as we get up to this highway here. Okay, and so. Yeah. Your point. I'm saving fuel. How are you saving? I have the cruise on. How's that saving fuel? Explain it to you us. don't have to push on the gas so much. <laughs> <coughs> the mileage on your car goes up every time I drive on the highway because 99% of the time I drive with the cruise on. And who taught you that? You. Would you have done it if I hadn't told you to do that? What, drive with the cruise on? Yes. Um, I probably would have driven. I probably would have driven with the cruise on. Why? Uh. Mr. Car Guy, why? Why would I have driven with the cruise on? Because yes. I don't really, honestly, think that it makes a difference one way or the other. Because if you want my honest opinion, I mean, using the cruise cuts down on like your wear and tear and. And you gonna finish that thought? <laughs> I I hang on. We're going to go to Borg. No, we're not going to go to Borg. Go to Borg. We're not going to go to Borg. We're go to Borg. We're going to Actually we're probably closer to okay. Anyway Go to Borg. We're... Oh, this highway does go to go to Borg. Oh, God. We should go there anyway. No, we have to, um, we get, well, maybe eventually, but we gotta go to Norway first. Mm. Hun, the carrier is expecting me to deliver this. Build a land bridge to Reykjavik. Because then we can go to, from Gothenburg to Reykjavik. Uh, yeah, I'm sure the developers will get right on that. <laughs> I'm weird, and the only reason I know about Re Reykjavik and where it is is because of Journey to the Center of the Earth, the movie, not the book. I tried reading the book once. It was kind of weird. Because in the movie, which I actually saw first, it's just about this professor and one of his students, whereas in the book, I believe it follows um, this guy and his uncle. <clears throat> and they don't, they don't take along a huge party like they do in the movie. It's just the two of them derping around underground. Okay, so I think we have to go to the Göteborg uh, ferry terminal. Ferries. Yeah, we have to go. We have to go take a ferry to uh, Denmark. We're gonna fly. We're not flying. In wait with wings and fairy dust. No, we're taking a pixie boat. Pixie dust. Pixie dust. We're taking a boat. Oh, that's not as fun. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> if we had had the TSM map from years ago, uh, which was a map mod that went to North Africa. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, we could have used, some of it used a plane, which I don't know how that would have worked in real life because of, these trucks are very heavy. Well, you do know there are ways to transport cars places. Yeah, I know. And I'm sure some of them are by air. They're probably like huge, like military style... They're cargo planes. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, yeah, I gotcha. You okay? Think about this. A a <clears throat> airplane, a carrier can have like 
10, 15, okay, this is what I'm talking. Mus- muscle then on This it. is what I'm talking about here. This is the two. This is the two plus one setup here. Now you notice oh my God, how this the- would make me so claustrophobic. Now you notice how, um, obviously on the opposite side it's two lanes, and now we only have one lane. Yes, as you ram into all the rails. I'm not ramming into the rails. If I wanted to ram into the rails, I would ram into the rails, but I'm not ramming into the rails. Okay, so now it's ending. It's going to be a two-lane, and now... Hey, keep stay on your own side. I am staying on my own side. Derp-a-derp. So now, that is something you do in real life. What? Try to run into the median. Yeah. Says the, says the woman who... Says the woman who... Uh, Drove on the wrong side. Drove on the wrong side of the road <laughs> yeah, and then bottomed out her car on a <laughs> on a median in the middle of a rainstorm. Yeah, at least I had somewhat of an excuse. Thank you. I was unfamiliar with the area and it was raining cats and dogs. And cat dogs. And for some reason, I thought the median was the other side of the road. For some reason, Sylvan thought Sylvan thought she was in England. Whereas. Whereas you, Mr. New Driver, just am like, oh, look, there's a median. I think I'll drive right into it. Clear sunshine. There is no mistaking the median and the sign on the median. And yet he aims directly for it. But, um. Really? Really? Yes. Uh, God, why? <clears throat> so, uh, four. P- so right now we're getting average of five point seven miles to the gallon, and instantaneous is four point one. I love these rock formations. Is that a like a live mile per gallon, and then an average mile per gallon? Yeah, yeah. The top one's instantaneous. And the bottom is like your trip average. Oh my goodness! Stay straight. I'm trying to stay straight. Try better. I'm trying. Whoa! Did you see that car? No. That was that was crazy. Cause the the it's all set up weird. So he like basically went straight across to three lanes of traffic. Yeah, the AI are, the AI <laughs> are pretty wacky in this game. <laughs> It looked like he just cut across, but then I realized that there was a, actually a lane there. But there was like three lanes instead of two. It was weird. All right, so... <clears throat> Thank God I stopped coughing so much. Yes. It's probably because I took I took a decongestant. And hey, you never took your ticket back. <laughs> I just realized. Uh... Speaking of tickets... For the highway. I know. Speaking of tickets... You didn't get one, did you? No. Um, speaking of tickets... Uh, I took the train home today. And I had a ticket left over from the last time I took the train. And the conductors never took it because I was only going one stop. Uh-huh. So it's like... Uh, it's like You weird. only had to pay for one ticket then? I... Oh. I... I yeah I mean Duh, but I, you were only going one way never mind right but I only but I had a ticket so I didn't have to yay but the problem is they never took the ticket and it was never activated meaning they never stopped because I was only going one stop but that just shows like a a kind of a flaw in their system I think they assume that if you're, if going- you're only going one stop. It's not that big of a loss of money because you're probably only going like three dollars or five dollars worth of ticket, and a few people doing that. Because you have to keep in mind, most people go one way like, or the other, all the way to the end of the line from somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Usually, and they definitely check it before the end of the line. Right, yeah, exactly. So it's it's really unusual to get someone get on the Metro and go one stop. That's the name for our computer... Uh, that's the name for our commuter rail system. Mm-hmm. It's short for Metropolitan Rail. Mm-hmm. 
Oh boy. I are well and truly in the shit. So, got to 31 miles an hour, and I'm going 23 down this off ramp. And I gotta hang a left here. <laughs> okay, so, I told you I watched Yao Weasel, right? Yeah. Right now, he's playing a game called Saga Frontier, and he's played this game, The this game has something like six different characters you can play as. Well, this is the second character he's played on his channel, and in both playthroughs, he's referred to some of the stats. One is WP and another is JP, and these are points that you use to do, like, abilities and things in battle. But, logically enough, WP he calls weapons points, or weapon points. Which at least makes some kind of logical sense. But the JP, nobody's ever sure what it means. And so he just calls them Japanese points. Nice. So what I did today was I actually looked them up. And it turns out they stand for really stupid things anyway. They stand for Waza points. Seems <laughs> what totes. the heck is Waza? Even in a video game, I have no idea what Waza is. Alright, so we're about to and get then, on our first... We're about to get on our first uh, boat connection here. Ooh, ooh. We're going to Frederickshaven. And then JP actually stands for Jutsu Points, which kind of makes sense because it, it does have, like, fighting styles in the game. But I can see why nobody would ever remember that. So he just calls them weapon points and Japanese points, and they do what they do, and who cares? <laughs> but right. it's funny, and he just responded to me and was like, weapons points, Japanese points, got it. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Sorry for the swearing, guys. Somebody else says, I always assumed WP was weapons points, but I couldn't ever come up with anything for JP. So I eventually found out it was Waza Jutsu and went back to weapons points and magic. Ah, this is not a... <coughs> this is not... That was not a protected left. Yeah, so Yaw Weasel, he's a cool... He's a cool cat, as I say. Alright, so we gotta go to the Frederick Chauvin... Uh, we gotta go to the port to go to Frederick Chauvin. We're going to meet Frederick Chauvin? I don't know who... F uh, Frederick Chauvin, it's a port. Okay. And that's what I said, we're going to meet Ch Frederick Chauvin. Oh, crud, where do I go? Who is he? Oh, I go over there. Tell okay. me who he is. I, it's a city, hon. Oh, come on. Play the joke! Everyone but you understands this joke. Okay. Um, Aru. Aru. Alright, so we gotta go to... From Gothenburg to Frederikshaven. It's gonna take 3 hours and 15 minutes. Or is anyone bored out of their spell yet? Sorry. <laughs> um, and I'm just teasing my husband. Yes, she is. Because I, I like action games and he likes laid back, dry, derping around, driving games. All right, so we have 138 miles <clears throat> left to go until we get to Kristen Sand. We are in. Wait, 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 wait. First we met Frederick Chauvin, and now we're meeting Cri Kristen Shans. Kristen Sand. Cr Kristen Sand. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> What's with all these people we're going to see? My God, you're like my nephew. When someone told him, when my mother told him that he was gonna, that he, Julie was coming, and he stood by the window waiting for Julie. Uh, Julie is the agency that handles digging. When my sister and brother-in-law bought their house, my nephew was about, oh, about one and a half. 
can you finish that story? And one day, I wasn't here for this, but one day, my mother, who watches him primarily. You're rear end that guy. No, I'm not. Your mother, who watches your nephew, uh, said that uh, we have to wait for we have to wait for Julie to come, and my nephew, being one and a half, not knowing any better, went by the window, hoping that there was going to be a pretty girl named Julie coming, and there was no pretty girl named Julie that came to the window. Okay. I'm lost. Julie? Julie's the agency that does the digging that you call when you need to that you when you need to identify power lines and stuff in your yard. Ah. That's what Julie's called. I think in the city it's called Digger. Digger. Uh I've never ever had to have that done, so Maybe your mother had to. Or what? I don't know. Did your mother ever garden in in your old house? No. Okay, you have to understand. My old house, which was in the city, had designated places where there was soil. Oh. <laughs> there was grass, and then there were, like, garden, purposeful garden boxes. But we didn't have to have utility work done, ever. That is not something that, that we ever needed to do. Yo, stay on the road. I am staying on the road. Drive better. I'm trying. And in my current house, we've had a couple of problems where, like, we've had frozen pipes, but we've never had to have people come out and identify piping or anything. Well, the pipe singing let it go. <clears throat> oh, Johnny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. The pipes, the pipes are frozen shut. We cannot use the bathroom. And it is terrible. And here, we've had the... In this apartment, we've had the opposite problem where... We had overflowing toilet. <laughs> that was not fun. Nope. Um, actually... I think we've left Frederick Shavin and we're going to Hertshalls. The... I think the thing is that, for one thing, we never really had money to do renovations on our house. Because we usually spent all of our money doing stuff together, or like entertainment. Yeah. We were entertainment consumers, my family. So we just had the house that we had, and we maintained what we had, but we never added on to a house. We never... I did, needed I, to have our yard dug out or anything. I had to hit the emergency brake there. No, really? Why am I not surprised? Well, there was. Were the... you driving too quickly, maybe? Well, I. Perhaps. Almost, I almost didn't see that there was that truck in that Volvo that was stopped up ahead. That was an XC60, I think. Where were you looking that you didn't see the cars directly in front of you? I was looking out the windscreen. Okay, then you should have seen. You're taking this too seriously. We need to talk about your, uh, your, your visual acuity here. You see that truck in front of you? Yeah, that tremory truck. Yes, you see it's in front of you out the windscreen. Yes, I do. Windshield, okay? We are American. I'm, I'm a secret Canadian. God, why did I marry you? That's a good question. I often wonder no, that myself. No. Yeah, I'm looking. Thank you. I'm. Yeah, it's a tramery truck. What's a tramery? Tramery is the logo that's on the that's oh. on the back of that truck. It's wheat again. We gonna smoke it? 
Yeah. But, um... Yeah, get right on this. Yeah, well, this is following up on my last mistake I made. Listening to you and not understanding a word you say because I'm deaf as a poor nail, apparently. See, it says Tramory. Who hurt the shawls? I don't know. That's what the name of the, this town or village or whatever is called. It's hurt shawls. We've got 95 miles left. We've they got hurt an... shawls there? I don't know. Why do they have what to time? be mean to the yarn wear? What time is it? It's 8 11. Yep. Are you almost at the end of a, a delivery? Yeah. Okay. Probably stop at the end of this delivery. Okay. I think two deliveries, that was pretty good. Mm-hmm. And I, I hope my derpiness made it less boring. Okay, so we have to... You notice how he just glosses over the fact that I called his game boring. I'm focusing. <laughs> he he's trying not to smile right now but he can't help it because I see every little twitch of his cheek and I know that he's about to laugh but he refuses to actually let it out don't make me make you laugh <laughs> <laughs> the look of fear on your face Really? Oh my god, I have to make this turn. Now who's taking it too seriously? Hmm? 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 Okay, so we're at the ferry terminal now. I'm trying to make him smile, what? but he is resistant. Okay, we have to go right where it says cargo. Blinky, 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 blinky. You stopped too early. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, crap. What did you make? No, I have to figure out where to go. We have to go to Christiansand. It's Oslo. This That's is... right, we have to see Christian Sand. Alright, so we gotta go. It's gonna be another two hour journey. Are, are we just gonna be derping around on a boat now? Well, we, we had to go across. We had to go across the middle of Denmark. And now we gotta go over to uh, Christiansand. And it's just a short little journey on this boat. And look, we're in the boat! Oh! Oh my god! We're on the boat! Yeah, we're getting out of the boat. Glub glub! Hurry up! Before it drowns! It's not gonna drown. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Okay, it is 8.23. I never said that anything that comes out of my mouth is gonna make sense. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Norway. It is 8.23, 8.24 p.m. And this is the... This is what we're dealing with right now, kids. This is like Freeze. oh, don't 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 hit the stuff. I'm trying not to. Don't hit the gate. Don't hit the K rail. Are you heading for that little green dot in the distance? No, we gotta go another two miles. Oh. We're not that lucky. We didn't get that lucky. <laughs> Well, at six miles per hour, we're going to get there in like 30 minutes. No, our <laughs> ETA is about four minutes. <coughs> I'm kind of wondering if I should put my heavy... There, that's better. Because it's overcast. I wonder if that's really what Norway is like, where it's overcast a lot. I can't imagine... Well, are they beyond the Arctic Circle? Yeah, they are. So it would be daytime. The day, yeah, the daylight cycle would be quite the day night cycle 
would be quite unusual. It's just like Alaska, where... Yeah, the sun never really goes down. Well, certain parts of the year, and then certain parts of the year, it's total darkness. Yeah. Right, exactly. Because you get six months of light and six months of dark. Yeah. <laughs> where you're... Where, like, people have blackout curtains. Yep. Because it doesn't get dark until, like, well after midnight. Yep. Like, it'd be 8 o'clock at night and it's still bright out. Okay, so we gotta go out of the shipping area and into Christian Sand. We're going to see Christian Sand! Okay, that's a yield sign. Whoa, you mean they look the same as here? Um, Except theirs don't say YIELD across it. Well, yeah, probably because the whole international, probably because the whole international thing. And you're, I just realized you've been driving on the right side of the road all this time. Yeah. We're not going, we're not in the UK. So, is the majority of the world on driving on the right? Um, I know Jamaica, because I've been there, drives on the left. Japan drives on the left. Malay Malaysia drives on the left. Uh, the UK. Australia drives on the left because they... Any, well, right. They any were. country that was pretty much, except for Canada, that was pretty much like a British dependency. Um, what other countries drive on the left? India? Uh, no. India drives on the right. Um, the Virgin Islands, believe it or not, they drive on the left. The U.S. Virgin Islands. Oh, really? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. The other day, I, the other day I, I was street viewing Taiwan, and I thought that they drove on the... Uh, until I realized I was looking at a one-way street. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, they drive... Because you were looking at game devs. Yes, I remember, honey. Alright, so we are at our last two country journey of this sh last part of this two country journey of the stream. No, actually Actually we've driven from Poland to We've driven from Poland Don't to trying not to. Alright. Only because, <clears throat> only because it's you. Oh, are you going to do it? I'm going to attempt to... Are you going to, are you going to do a bad job? We'll you're going to do a good job. Um, we'll see. Are you going to be competent? I'm... Are you going to be incompetent? I'm going to try. That's all I can tell you. Bump I'm gonna... the bump. Yeah. Don't hit the fence. I'm not hitting the fence. Don't hit the don't don't hit the garage. That's not a garage. That's a. Oh, it has a car in it. Oh, I thought you were talking about the. I thought you were talking about the cargo. Uh. No, I was talking about the thing right in front of your face. Um. <coughs> <coughs> I may have gone wrong. <laughs> I may have gone around the wrong way. Big surprise. Alright. Okay, I gotta try not to hit Sir Topham Hat here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Their car. It's a golf. Who cares? <laughs> okay, Sir Tom. No. Okay, Sir Topham Hat here is just in a. Uh... <laughs> he's cleaning the windows. Yeah, he's in a perpetual. Sir Topham Hat over here is in a perpetual state of cleaning the windows. Hit him. No, I can't. 
why not? The game won't let you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. Oh. Oh. I mean, they didn't give people collision boxes. I'm pretty sure they didn't. Or collision mass, whatever it's called. I don't know. Why are your brights on? Because I could barely see. It's Norway, remember? It's overcast. I could. Your regular lights wouldn't be good enough. No, they weren't, ton. Ugh. Fine. S turn. Okay. Okay. Hard right. All right. All right. Jesus. See, you can get it with me in board. On board. Your friendly neighborhood truck whore. You know, that means something else in actual real American trucking circles, right? That's kind of the joke. So oh, yeah. So you've heard of the term lot lizard? <laughs> no, but I can guess what that means. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, the kind of uh, people that go to truck store truck stops and they try to get a little sucky sucky. Yes, thank you. That was a brilliant description <laughs> <laughs> of a certain sexual act. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Jesus <laughs> Christ would approve? No, but... <clears throat> um, I think you failed. Yeah. <laughs> Negative 42 experience. Because you got damaged, it did. Yeah, I know. Oh, sweet. Now I can get the hazmat. <clears throat> Yay! And on that bombshell, it's time to end... Um, thank you everybody for coming out Indeed. to this. Indeed. Thank you for everyone for coming out to the stream tonight. Take it easy and remember to smile. Take care, guys. You have to quit. I have to get to the other thing. <laughs> Little premature. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs>